Good morning, everybody. Chuck here in Tapanong, Thailand. I want to talk to you today about how stressed is it to find out that the visa that you're here in Thailand for is no good, and all of a sudden you uh, you have to remove all the money out of your bank account. Hey y'all, Chuck here with no time to be sad, and this is my beautiful wife of 15 years, Paige. We downsized, saved, and liquidated to quit our lifestyle in America of living for things to a life of wherever it might take us. We moved to Thailand in November of 2016. We currently live Thai style on the Mekong River in a town called Tap Phnom in the province of Nakhon Phnom. This is my wonderful Thai family. Every day for us is an adventure and we spend most of our time exploring and living for the moment. We know nothing lasts forever and we try to enjoy every new day we have. I don't have time for things that really don't matter in my life. So there you have it. No time to be sad. In today's video, I want to share with you some of my very first experiences coming into Thailand. Some of the thoughts I was having during this transition and uh, how stressed I was dealing with and this is kind of how it's always been in Thailand when you're trying to get something official done it's usually you have to go in a circle sometimes so I would say most of the time so today's video happened about eight years ago and I want to share it with you today on some of my experiences and if you guys are coming to Thailand uh, maybe you can see how I how I dealt with it uh, it, it is kind of funny at the end. Anyway, good morning. So today we are going to go check me into immigration. We're going to check in, let them know where I'm staying. This is something that I have to do every 90 days uh, as an obligation to my, my visa. Right now I only have a 90 day visa, but uh, when I check in on my 90 I, might, I gotta check in about a week or two, about a week before my 90 days is due. And then I need to try to get an extension uh, for one year. I'm actually right now referring to the 90 day check-in that has to be done uh, just to report your residence. You can do this online now. I know a lot of people say you can't, but you actually can. A lot of the problem is, is the dates uh, when you do it online, you got to make sure it's done uh, between 14 and 7 days of your due date. Uh, you got to make sure you have your arrival date correct. If you flow out, if you've flown out of the country and come back, you need to make sure that that date that they stamped in your passport is the date that you entered Thailand. And uh, a lot of times, it's the street address that's not correct. It doesn't match up with your residence. So I'm only talking about the 90 day. I'm a little confused at this point between the 90 day check-in, the 90 day visa, the visa extension. A lot is going through my mind at this moment. Some rules have changed about, uh, well, they're always changing, but I heard you could possibly get a five year with a five year extension, which will make it a 10 year visa. But as of right now, from what I understand, it's only for a retirement visa, so I'm not sure, but I'll find out the information uh, when I get there, and uh, maybe not this time, but maybe on my 90-day uh, my visit. So this time I'm just letting them know where my address is. But. So I come here on a 90, I had a 90-day O visa with the, it was like a marriage, like a dependent visa. And um, it, it was 90 days and I needed to report to the local immigration here to find out what I needed to get it extended for 12 months. It's just like every extension needs to be done uh, around 30 days. Well, no, no uh, more than 30 days prior to your, um, your visa expiration date. So that's what I mean by by that. Another thing that I want to do today is I want to try to get this bicycle operational. Maybe these two bicycles. Paige is going to have the one with the basket. So uh, 
I want to see if I can get them things going and then uh, maybe do some bike riding in the morning, some exercise instead of sitting around. Uh, I'm not really sitting around, there's a lot of stuff to do. But, uh, you know, right now, uh, we want to do a lot of traveling around Thailand, but right now I, uh, I really am trying to get acclimated here uh, and I'm trying to get organized and uh, set up in our new in our new home. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. And uh, we should be leaving here pretty shortly. And thanks for coming. So we're walking uh, walking down the street here to a print shop. I need to get a couple of passport pictures. So, Wendy Camp, hello, hello. <laughs> So I gotta get a couple pictures, like passport pictures. She said picture. you're handsome. Oh, I'm handsome, great. <laughs> I have a fan. You have a fan, let's go for you. Yeah, I'm getting run over. I want to know, Kat. Put your face down a little bit. No, I Up a little bit. Okay. Good boy. เสร็จแล้วเดี๋ยวเราขึ้นหลอดจ้าโลนี้ว่าข้างสีขึ้นหลอดว่ายี่สิฮะใครคนเดียวบ่คนเดียวไม่เป็นมือนี่เป็นม
But this is just the not not the marriage visa. Not the marriage visa is still four hundred thousand baht. At this point, all I needed was four hundred thousand baht in an account, not eight hundred. But I had way over eight hundred. So you need to have um, right now in today's world. 800 three months before 800 three months after and can't go below 400 in the remainder of the time the other six months yeah so anyway so we're back home i did check in everything went fine uh because i did get my visa my 90-day visa in uh in america before i came to thailand so i'm good here for 90 days so after that I have to get an extension so um, the guy at immigration said that my marriage certificate from the United States is not any good here in Thailand so that makes things difficult for me since I'm here on a uh, marriage visa so in order to correct this problem uh, for those of you that might be coming over here that are married to a Thai person when you fly into Bangkok uh, stop by the Thai embassy or the American embassy in Bangkok and have your marriage certificate translated into Thai language so that they can uh, confirm that you are legally married to your Thai person. So uh, I guess if you live in Bangkok in that area, it's no problem, except uh, we live about a 10 hour drive from there. Uh, but the airport is in uh, Nakhon Phanom, where we were just at. Uh, they have the uh, the old military airport, which uh, has a has a they fly locally, so we can fly to Bangkok uh, in about 45 minutes from there. So yeah, yeah. When you get to Thailand, you can see I recommend a law office. It's in every one of my videos down below in the description box. Just click more or just click on the description tab and you'll see the information and uh, you can just go see him right away after well, you have to go to the embassy pay like fifty dollars to get it certified and get it or get it notarized and then you go over to his office which is right across the street from the embassy and have him write it up in thai language before you fly to your residence or drive to your residence or maybe you're staying in bangkok i don't know we have to get it translated another thing which i did know but i wasn't sure about this part uh you know you have to have money to stay in thailand so the guy the immigration officer said he highly recommends that i get my own bank account in my own name uh, to make things easier so if you're if you have a, a thai wife and you have a joint account it's no problem but you have to have at least 800,000 baht in your joint account. Okay, you actually can't go to immigration with a joint account. Your bank account with your funds that come in monthly or your 800,000 on the retirement visa or your 400 on the marriage, whatever, has to be in your name and in your name only. You can have a joint account, but not for the immigration purpose. Uh, but he recommended me having my own for 400,000. Now 400,000 baht is roughly about $12,000 US. Yeah, make sure you have your own account and you have to uh, have money in that Thai account for over 60 days. So we're going to the bank now uh, so I can get my own account and do some money transferring uh, so that when I return there, in my 90 before my 90 days is up i will have my account already for uh i've been over two months so after that will be no problem so uh that's just for marriage visa retirement visa is a lot easier to deal with but uh yeah we're going to the bank right now okay we're gonna go get some food i need a beer so <laughs> Yeah, you know, I was warned about these things uh, on the internet about the banks. Well, about rules changing. Um, about, if you don't get your way, that, uh, 
Yeah. Just come back later and it'll work out. Okay, well, I don't have a bank account today. I need a bank account because the immigration officer said I need to have money in a Thai bank account um, for more than two months to reapply for an extension. Which I don't understand. I've got money in the United States. Anyway, but so uh, that's no problem. So we went to SBC Bank where my uh, wife has an account there and uh, which is I've been we've been transferring money there from America from my account and uh, yeah so we get there and the lady goes uh, does and we said I need an account she goes does he have a work permit and she's like no uh, we're married uh, by the way this is all translation from my wife's so I have no idea what's going on which is another frustrating thing too is not being able to communicate which is probably good because I just spout things off anyway and uh, probably wouldn't uh, they wouldn't know how to deal with with me if I could understand and they could understand me so anyway um, yeah so my wife said well we're married and uh, they wanted to see the marriage certificate well you can't even read the they can't even read the marriage certificate because it's in English so she's staring at it and I'm like just give her the damn visa that shows that I have a visa to be in Thailand long stay so they don't want to see that so what that SBC bank wanted they wanted me to go to Bangkok uh, get a criminal background report and get a, a documentation that says that I was a legal United States citizen even though I have an American passport I don't know all right during the confusion of this conversation uh, we finally was sitting at the table with them trying to figure out uh, why you said this and now you're saying this and the lady just said after she figured out she didn't know how to answer and we weren't leaving the table until we got one. She goes, you know what? It's easier for foreigners just to go to Bangkok Bank and get this done. <laughs> and that was pretty much the end of it. Like, go away. So anyway, wasn't happy with that bank. So we went to another bank, uh, Bangkok Bank. Uh, stood in line at Bangkok Bank. And uh, back and forth, a few questions between the lady and my wife. And uh, we ended up leaving there with three things scribbled on a piece of paper so I'm already frustrated so I tell my wife okay obviously I'm not getting a bank account you want to tell me what's going on so she said no problem we'll get one tomorrow all we have to do is find a uh, government official here in the hometown to co-sign for me and then have it notarized and uh, made a copy of for the bank to keep so somebody has to uh, kind of co-sign for me because there's been a lot of money laundering and stuff going around so they said no problem they know a lot of people so anyway that's going to get done so trying to get a bank account in Thailand is becoming real entertaining uh, here's a suggestion to you while you're in Bangkok get a bank account in Bangkok it might be a lot easier because they know how to deal with foreigners uh, and plus if you have to get stuff from the embassy you can go there and get it really easy so yeah. Oh well. I need a beer. All right. I feel better now. We're back home after eating lunch, having a beer, kind of laughing about the situation. So tomorrow, tomorrow will be a better day. Uh, I just, uh, I don't like not knowing what's going on. But I deal. I did tell Paige that tomorrow I want to take all of our money except for a tiny bit out of the account, uh, the SBC account that wouldn't give me an account there. We had quite a bit of money in this bank. I actually had in this bank alone two accounts. One we started back in 2010 or before, I don't remember exactly, I have to look at the date, I should know. We started a 15 year long term uh, investment account that paid out about 250% at the end of the term and we had to put in a couple million baht uh, to start this thing but they don't really offer that was back when the economy was really good and they don't really have any deals like this anymore 
but uh, I couldn't get my name attached to that. It's only for Thai people, but uh, it's an account that we had. So we had to leave that alone in there, but the rest of the money we had brought into that bank for, for visa purpose, for living expenses for a year or two. And uh, we had just been sending money over when the, when the moment was right. Even though last time I was here uh, a couple years ago, uh, they said no problem. All I had to have was a, uh, a long-term visa, which I have. But anyway, tomorrow we'll get the account and then I'll draw everything out of that account in a little bit and let them know that we're closing the account soon and uh, have them transfer the money into my other account. So yeah, anyway. <sighs> It's all going to be okay. Paige is like, don't worry, it's going to be fine. I'm like, okay. I believe you. You know, I'm, 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 I'm at your mercy. I'm at the mercy of Thai people. So I understand they don't like to deal with, with foreigners. Most of them haven't even seen foreigners before. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't want to deal with me either. But I know sometimes people in America are hard to deal with. Uh, I'm very... Uh, very friendly guy. I just don't like incompetence. I feel like if that's your job, you should know how to do your job. But I'm in a different country and the rules change all the time. And I'm just going to keep a smile on my face and wait till tomorrow. So, yeah. so now I'm a little bit more happier. This is what you call an ice cream sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> in I Thailand, think... they ain't joking. So ice cream sandwich. sandwich. It's bread. Ice cream. And ice cream sandwich. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway. Am I right? The bread's sweet now. It tastes just like Hawaiian bread. It's freaking great. <laughs> anyway, I'm happy again. Well, I got to do something other than sit around worrying about crap. So I, uh, I asked her dad if I could clean these bikes up and ride them. And he said uh, he needs to get the tires replaced because they're dry rotted. And he'll have somebody from the shop come do it. So. Like, well, I need something to do. So I grab, I bought that little toolbox the other day. I got some tools in there and I think I can handle taking two tires off of a bicycle uh, or a couple sets of tires off of two bicycles. And uh, I'll just carry them out there and tell them, okay, go. So yeah, I'm too hyper to sit around. So yeah, I'm gonna do this. Well, our father's faster than me. Just before I could take the back wheel off, he already had one of his guys come by and pick the bikes up. <laughs> I gotta be faster next time. He already had the guy come pick the damn thing up. I guess I gotta be faster next time. <laughs> yeah, I gotta do something. <laughs> Okay. Well, Paige got a cold. I guess it's her turn to get sick. So she had to go to the doctor yesterday down the street. So, uh, actually, two houses down the clinic. So, uh, what would you get? I got allergy. Allergy? They pills? Yeah. Allergy for my throat. Yeah. And antibiotic. Antibiotic. How much was all that? Three hundred baht. Three hundred baht. What does that mean? Maybe. Uh, About twelve. Nah, probably like ten. Nine, under ten dollars. Yeah. Probably about eight dollars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the doctor visit include well it includes the doctor's visit and the checkup so. 
Yeah. <coughs> so that's uh, probably some amoxicillin. Yeah. So very colorful. Yeah. Yeah. It's Thailand. It's Thailand. <laughs> it's Thai style. Yeah. Well, good morning. It is the next day, and we are going to the bank again. We are going to meet our government friend with us. Now, uh, this is somebody that I know. This is a person that uh, we've been eating dinner with almost every night and sharing drinks with. So I think she's been with the government for over 20 years. So yeah, she's just gonna meet us there instead of us getting a piece of paper and having it uh, notarized and all that good stuff. So she's just gonna come to the bank with us and say that she vouches for me which is uh, pretty awesome. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Well, I'm inside the bank now, so I uh, just told Paige, just get the money out. Just give me the cash and put it in a bag and I'll take it to the other bank. <laughs> I don't think they're excited. Yeah, we just left the SBC bank. We're back home now. Um, it, Somehow I suspected that this was how it was going to go down. Uh, whenever you tell them, "Hey, we want to close our we want to close our account and take all of our money out," you know, then a big manager comes out of his cave and starts to talk about what's going on. So they're trying to explain to my wife that uh, the process is actually really easy for me to get a bank account there. All I have to do is fill out a form and uh, show them a copy of our marriage license and that's it, everything is great. So I told Paige, I want my money. Um, if they don't really know how to deal with a foreigner, then uh, they, don't know, they don't need to deal with my money. So I want cash and I handed them the bag and uh, said, put it in the bag and uh, Still don't have a bank account, so we're waiting for our friend, uh, the government official, to, uh, it's a she, actually. She's coming on her lunch break. Uh, should be in about 30, 45 minutes. And then she's going to go to the bank with us. And, uh, yeah, so, yeah, I told him, put it in this bag right here. And, uh, yeah, that's the bag that I had for... Uh, I brought from the plane ride, I bought two bottles of platinum gummy walker. <laughs> so we just stuck it in there. Uh, we still have some money in that account. Uh, we did, last time we did a, uh, a long-term account, uh, kind of a long-term savings account. So we have some money left in there that we can't take out. So uh, yeah, but um, we're gonna go to Bangkok Bank, like I said, and uh, yeah, everything good so far. Oh yeah, and I did find out yesterday that uh, Bangkok Bank, Bangkok Bank has a, br a branch in America in New York City. Um, so the routing number is uh, similar to the United States routing numbers. And I found out yesterday uh, from my wife, from the information we got from Bangkok Bank that uh, it was costing us about $50 to transfer money from the United States, a wire transfer from our bank account in America to Thailand. So now to transfer money from our, you know, we, we bank, our banks are in Thailand, I mean, in America mostly, but uh, yeah. all right, this is no longer available. We, we were sending money over using that routing number to Thailand and it was it was uh, making it to be a domestic transfer instead of an international transfer. This is no longer available. Like you haven't, we haven't been able to do that for a few years now, but it was cool. We, we just send the money with the account number here, but the routing number from the States and it made it look like it was a domestic transfer, but no longer available. I don't know 100% how easy this is gonna be until I get the bank account. Most of the dealings with the bank is going to be Paige, not me. So all I need to have is a, is a, is a, uh, a bank card and, uh, and uh, they give you a book. 
uh, like a log book and uh, anything I need to really deal with she'll she'll go handle it for me anyway but yeah it's all good. okay we're back at the other bank here at Lotus uh, Bangkok banks inside these guys have been painting this parking lot little strip here like day number three huh three days how long does it take to paint it's a lot of people here so well, we're back home now the electricians are here making a mess huh oh yeah got it right now i'm just pretty much retired i owned a business that we did pretty much electrical concrete work equipment installation equipment repair equipment warranty we trained technicians uh, we had to be on the ball for about over 300 dealerships and uh, all kinds of garages in the houston area so we had to be very particular at what we did uh, we had to do it in a timely manner and uh, that's just how my brain worked uh, when i first got here i was used to to having about 20, 30 things on my plate every single day. And uh, sometimes I looked at things like, well, I still kind of do that, like why? <laughs> why are you doing it like this? Sometimes you realize later why they do things actually make sense in this environment, uh, but most of the time, no. D. Looks like they put the hot water heater in. Yeah. All right, I got a new uh, shower head too. I like it. I huh, wonder what that's going to cost me. <laughs> Find out. So, uh, hey, look, I got these razor. We just went and got a few things at the store. And uh, making sure you're decent. <laughs> See how we went and got a few things at the store after the uh, bank account. And, these razor blades back in the states maybe eight bucks mm -hmm. but uh these are in thailand a dollar <laughs> so they had a lot more but yeah i finally found cheap razors again so let me tell you what happened at the bank um i got a bank account i actually have two uh one for just me and one for me and Paige. It, no problems uh, our friend met us there it took a little over an hour and uh, so yeah we got our bank account and our next step is going to be uh, flying to Bangkok to go to the American Embassy and uh, then getting uh, my our marriage license translated into Thai language so, so far everything's good. A little bit of obstacles, I guess it's to be expected. Um, you know, just to say, I did hear from other bloggers about the banking system. Uh, they were pretty accurate about uh, some of the flaws. Uh, if you go to a bank and they deny you, just come back the next day and uh and try it again or go to a different bank a different branch uh and chances are eventually you'll get the account because you know well this was a lesson pretty much in the losing face syndrome you know whenever they don't know something if the next words that come out of their mouth seem a little like way out there or kind of stretched or don't make sense chances are they're probably just made up so the best thing to do is just smile come back the next day or go to go to another location because if you get confrontational you're definitely a hundred percent not going to win anyway you're not going to get them to backtrack and go oh yeah well let me get somebody else. it's just it's not it's just not going to happen but uh, unless you have like millions of bot or something already in that account and you can use that as a leverage, <laughs> then you, in, in Thailand, usually uh, 
it's best as a foreigner just just to walk away. Now, if you want your wife to pitch an argument, then or your girlfriend or whatever, then uh, that's up to you. What what bothers me is that you know we went to the bank yesterday and the girl said no, we have to do these things in order to get a, an account there which wasn't gonna work for us. And then when we go back today, they're like, oh no, it's pretty easy, just do this and this and this and this, but too late, they already made me mad. So, uh, you know, if you don't know the details of your job, even though you don't deal with foreigners a lot, just say, I don't know, and come back tomorrow, or instead of just making up some crap. So, anyway, they lost a big account, and uh, yeah. I'm pretty happy about carrying my money out of there. That kind of felt a little good, a little redemption. So, yeah. Anyway, I appreciate you watching. I hope you, uh, some of you people that are considering coming over here, I hope that uh, you learned something from my experiences. But I have to say probably everybody's experiences is probably not going to be the same. Uh, that's just what happened to me. And I'll keep you updated on the, uh, on the visa deal. Uh, whenever I, whenever I get all my other information and get down to the uh, immigration office, I'll let you know how that turned out. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Well, I hope this video was entertaining for you. I hope you learned something from it. Really, all I've done since this video is just shared my experience in Thailand. I, I'm trying not to tell you this is how it's going to be because it's going to be different in many different ways for for you and everybody else but uh like this and thousands of other videos we've shown the process of, of to the point to where we're at at the moment so i hope i hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and um, if you have time subscribe to the channel we'd really appreciate that it's free just the little button down below or click the subscribe tab we'll see you guys tomorrow on the next video. Bye.